Gotham has a new caped crusader, and people are loving the show all about her. Batwoman is now in Utah's CW30, and today we're talking with two of the stars from the new show, Rachel Skarzen and Megan Tandy, in today's sponsored segment. Ladies, congrats on the new show. Yay, thank, thank you so much. You. So how does it feel to be part of a superhero show that focuses so much on female roles? Well, growing up, we were both really big fans of Batman, and yes. I, I think if you'd asked either of us, you know, what superhero do you want to be, mm -hmm. we both would have said Batman. So Batman. this is a dream come true, and then and then to have it be Batwoman mm -hmm. is even more even more exciting. Yeah, it's very exciting, and especially since you know when you think of superheroes, you're always thinking of men. There's always these male superheroes that are kind of always pushed to the forefront in society, and the fact that we have another female superhero on television and we get to be a part of it, I think it's really exciting. Yeah, we still love our men superheroes. Yes, though. yes. <laughs> Thank you especially for clarifying. Batman. <laughs> now so. that you're on the show, can you like any other superheroes, or is it all Batman now or Batwoman all the time? I. I mean, I I really love the actress who plays Supergirl. So <laughs> I've been she telling everyone. And I'm yeah. a blamer. She's so, a really sweet girl. Um, so I, I guess, yes, we are allowed. Mm -hmm. Because I've told everyone. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's good to know. At least it's in the DC universe, so that's good. Walk us through who you play on the show. Yes, <laughs> definitely. True. No Marvel here. Right. <laughs> so who are your characters? So I play Alice. She is the big bad of the season. Uh, it's also been revealed in the pilot episode that she is the long lost twin sister of uh, Kate Kane, who is also Batwoman. So it, it provides this, you know, very complex, layered, interesting relationship because they are obviously one another's great foes, but they have a, a deep, deep love for one another because they're sisters. So. It will be interesting to see how that unfolds, and we're also going to go into, you know, how Beth became Alice, which I've really enjoyed. And Sophie is one of the top agents at the Crows, and she works right underneath Jacob Kane, who is Kate Kane's father. And so, because Kate and Sophie had a very, very abrupt breakup from their private relationship in military school, it's definitely caused a little bit of friction between the two because they haven't seen each other until now, and Kate has no idea until the very, very end that I've gone off and gotten married. So as you keep watching the show, you'll see that Sophie is just dealing with her emotions, dealing with her feelings, and trying to figure out if she wants to get back with Kate. It sounds like... And in between that, I just kidnap her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Random. Good to know. Yes, you're both on very opposite ends of this whole crime-fighting story. Yeah, but yeah. We, we also both love Kate Kane. Yes, yeah. Well, I'm good to know. So, uh, if people are watching this show, I feel like there's so much they can take away from this. You both mentioned the complex characters here. They're telling me we've got, we're out of time, but I want to know, how do you feel about this show taking on so many different type of storylines that are so complex? I think it's great because it means that there will be something for everyone. There will be a character for everyone to relate mm -hmm. to. And so hopefully it's something people can enjoy watching with their friends, with their family. And we really hope that they love it as much as we do. Yeah. We hope we will love it as well. It just premiered on Sunday. You can watch it Sunday nights right here on Utah's CW30. You're watching Rachel Scars and Megan Tandy on Batwoman. Ladies, thanks for being with us this morning. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. You betcha.